I did have a particular problem with fatigue. I was so fatigued that I would fall asleep, even driving my wheelchair. My name's Ben Gruter and I'm in suburban Melbourne in Strathmore. I was injured in 2012. I had a spinal bleed which strangulated the spinal cord. I'm a T5, T6 paraplegic. There were lots of changes as a result of my accident. For a start, I was in rehab in hospital for 16 months. We had to move house. The house we were living in was unsuitable. Also in terms of the activities I loved doing, like camping and fishing, became much, much more challenging. Eventually, I gave up work. I retired from the workforce, but that allowed me to return to my academic interests. The fatigue with Ben was atrocious. He would fall asleep during the day and he would forget conversations you've had. The first person to encourage me to seek treatment was a nurse at the Talbot. We did the sleep study. I didn't follow up on it. Then sometime later, my wife more or less insisted that I seek another sleep study and follow up on it properly. The snoring was atrocious. It was like having a freight train going through the bedroom. Initially, I hated the CPAP. I was ready to throw it out the window. But I persevered, and after a month or so, I found it quite easy to use. The CPAP has made an amazing difference to his life and to my life. I think Christine is a lot happier <laughs> because she doesn't have to put up with the snoring. A large focus of my life is my grandchildren and caring for them. The other thing which keeps me very much occupied is reading and my academic interests. We both get a great night's sleep now and he's more active and I'm more active. I can go to lectures without falling asleep and I would not be as engaging as I am with the grandchildren. I'd be falling asleep all over the place.